Hey, what's up, everybody? So in the event of the pandemic, I am back and I'm going to be doing live streams every Sunday. This is actually from the 29th of, of March. So uh, I'm going to be doing live streams every Sunday. And then in the, t in the event that I can't do a live stream, I'm going to be putting out a video. I am back. You guys will learn a little bit more about why I was gone and all that good stuff. So this is a lo long live stream. So if you're like actually into podcasts, throw this on and kind of listen. And there's like some ASMR sewing sounds in there if you like that. But anyways, thanks for watching. Live stream starts now. Let me, let me know how you guys have been uh, surviving, thriving, you know, doing all the whole thing during this weird time. It's a weird, weird time. I'm going to fix this real quick. Yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's so crazy what's going on right now in the world. But the only, the only way I, or the way that I see it, it's just kind of like you, you just got to, you just gotta like get through it. This is one of those things. I'm gonna play some music. Uh, not on stream because copyright's crazy. Okay. Um, I've been I've been chilling. <laughs> no, I've I've been focusing on uh myself. I think that was a big. Hold on, I got the this music's like loud. I got the weekend. I got the weekend playing the new album. Oh, whoa, why is that off? I brought down my... How did I do that? Right? What I'm sewing right now? I am sewing a long sleeve. My machine is telling me... Oh, that's why. I was like freaking out because my sewing machine wasn't sewing. And I realized that I put the button hole maker or setting, button hole setting. On. I don't know why. I've been stuck in the house making a lot of masks. Yo, so tell me why I should be doing that. Not making a long sleeve. I should be making. Oh, it's no. I was about to make embroidery letters. Oh, that's why. I know what's going on. I dropped the, the feed, man. I should be making masks. Maybe I'll do. I'll go back to making tutorials. I kind of, I kind of miss doing it. Dude, that's messy. This how you. Know, I've, that's how you know I have not been sewing for a long time. Just because of how messy I am with with my uh, my seams and whatnot. Hey, let me know if the audio is okay, cause it's probably trash. <laughs> Good. Okay. Kind of like ASMR, to be honest. <laughs> That's a big color, but again, this is not for me. This is this is a uh, this is something that I cut out, I think, half a year ago, and I'm now finally working on it, which is kind of crazy. Not too bad. Yo, what's up, Sierra Shirley? Long time, long time. Um, how do you? Do you guys have any recommendations on where to get like a uh, mask pattern? I mean, I, I can go and make one, but I just kind of want to see what people have been making. So I don't make a duplicate. Okay, it's kind of popping. All right, so this is, what is this? So here's the main fabric. I'm gonna scoop back a little. Like too close. Oh, gotta move 
this spot. There we go. My like my like webcam is like on. I'm like trying to grab this fabric that I dropped on the ground. Sorry guys. Alright. I gotta like I gotta get my wire management up. So I don't run into problems. Oh, thank you. Joanne has them? Dude, I'm so scared to go anywhere. How do you guys feel about going out? How do you guys feel about going to grocery stores? Or would you rather do takeout? Because I know a lot of people are like on the fence about that. They're like, oh, I don't know if I should go out. I should go out and eat. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine too. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like, it's like a scary thing. I'm just being honest, honestly. It's right here. Dude. Okay, so this is the front. The great thing about these, these pieces of fabric, they don't have a front and back. It just depends on how you want to put it together. I keep dropping my fabric. This is some top top notch fabric. It slips it slips like crazy. Alright, I'm gonna put this actually here so you guys can see what I'm doing. What is this? Is this Okay, this is the top. Oh no, it's the side. What is this? Oh it's right here. Okay, cool. I don't even have so much table space. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So I got the foot there. I should really make some masks. I'll probably do like a charity stream. I think that's the most important thing right now. Because a lot of people need help, and I'm doing the best that I can to kind of get back in the game. I gotta get my sewing skills back on top of it before I start making things for people. Uh, I don't know what's going on in the world. It's like, it's crazy because one day I was just like chilling, and then the, the next day I'm like rushing into stores, trying to get toilet paper. It's really like serious. Sometimes it's like really surreal to me that this is all happening, but it was it was like inevitable, I felt, I feel like. Yeah, if you can send me um, links on IG, I'm finally gonna get back on IG too. I'm sorry for the, like the long hiatus. I just, I feel like it's good, it's needed. It's needed for me to like get my creative, creative juices flowing again. That sounds so wrong when people say that. <laughs> uh, I only have done takeout, but wear a mask for peace of mind. You know what? I hope the people that are like getting the takeout is like wearing masks too. I hope for their safety because I don't know what they'd be dealing with, honestly. I had to go to Walmart every day last week for small stuff. Yo, uh, I'm so scared to go to Walmart, man. I'm scared to go anywhere. The, the like, what's it? Ger what was it? Germaphobe? Mm -hmm. Is that the right word? Yes. The germaphobe in me is like going insane. I have to. I have to still have to go to work because people won't stay home. Yo, where do you work? I always wondered how like, how people are stuck going out. I know that like restaurants for sure, grocery workers for sure. I don't know what else is like stuck outside or people that are still going to work. Thanks. I gotta like push this back guys. I need like more, more table space. I gotta like sit in. Chloe Dow has instructions on her IGTV. 
Okay, I'll check it. I'll check that out. Um, if you guys can get, send me a link, I can check on IG. I know I haven't logged in for a while, but I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been creeping on the IG a little bit. I should make t-shirts. I should start making t-shirts and I'll just donate the t-shirts. Like for charity. I feel like that would be a cool thing to do. Home Depot. Yo. Think, you know what, I'm gonna say for, you know, working. Because a lot of people do need supplies right now at Home Depot. And I heard that you can get toilet paper from Home Depot. Is that is that true? I kind of want some, I want you to confirm if that's true. If so, like, I'm not trying to, like, kind of, like, call you out. <laughs> I just want to know if that's true. What? Is it good? Just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's going to stop a little bit. Hi to, from the Atlanta, Georgia. Is that Georgia? GA? GA is Georgia, right? <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm, I'm not really good with uh, state initials. Let alone, like, I'm confused on what I'm doing from day to day. <laughs> Wait, is this two? Yeah, it's two. So you guys are probably wondering why I don't use surgery or surgery for this part. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't have one, and I feel like I should invest in one. But if it's just gonna be made for like myself or like my fiance, it doesn't really matter. I feel like that stuff is kind of fluff. But that's just my opinion. I don't. I don't really care about clean cut. All I care about is it is a t-shirt and I can wear it. <laughs> and it doesn't look bad. That's like the other thing. But eventually I'm gonna get a surgery. I, I feel like that's like the next big purchase. Okay. Let's see. Get on this side. Dude, that's crazy. People People are hitting up Home Depot for toilet paper. I think that's insane. I don't really go to Home Depot because I don't even have a house, let alone anything from Home Depot can fit in my apartment. <laughs> but you know, kudos to you, man, or girl. I don't know. Who, I don't know what gender you are, but kudos to you for you know still working. I think that's like a big like help to people that are like kind of dealing with a lot. I heard that like a lot of people are on unemployment, which is insane. I never thought that like we were doing so good like economy wise. I never thought we would get to this point, but you know it's kind of like up and down. I gotta like I gotta put the like low setting as far as speed on my machine. Because this thing rumbles. And I feel bad for my neighbor downstairs because they all, all their hair is. <laughs> like a big table this is kind of hard <laughs> what I'm gonna do do I have room let's see let's move all my stuff back so I don't so I have space I don't need my mouse right now because I'm talking to you guys Well, now, what I'm gonna do now is put on the sleeve in the small crown space. I really need a sewing table, honestly. Wow. That's crazy. 
Surely that's crazy. You know what? Kudos to your to your man. Cause life's hard. Life's hard right now. And for him to be out there still working is a service. So I hope that like he gets somehow some way compensated for his work. Cause that's like true dedication. I should have to start doing these char charity streams, man. I, I, don't, I, I don't have a lot of money, <laughs> but at least I can like stream and like, I don't know, somehow get the charity going. I don't know. Maybe if I keep this consistent, I can get like a partnership so I can like help people. Because I feel like that's one thing I can do is so, oh, sorry, that was too loud, guys. <laughs> I literally hit the mic. Um, I really do want to help any way that I can. I feel like I have like the platform to help either by making things or at least letting people know about like charities and whatnot. So hopefully I can figure that out. I don't even know if these measurements even line up right now, honestly. You guys are like wondering what I'm doing. I'm sewing on the sleeve right now. So I'm just putting on the sleeve right sides together. Sleeve. I promise next time my setup will be a lot better. <laughs> I just really like last minute I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna do a live stream. Like, let people know that I'm still here. I'll try to live stream every Sunday. I used to do this back in the day and like I really enjoyed live streaming because I get to talk to you guys. See what's up with you all. I feel like the people that watch me gave me a chance so I should give them a chance as far as like in any way that I can like help them out. I don't know how. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I have to stretch that out like that. Okay, anyone that's like a sewing expert, please let me know if there's an easy way, easier way to do this. Because I just found this way to be super successful. Because right now, it's like, I'm doing all the old techniques that I remember from like muscle memory, and I don't even know if there's like the best way to do this of putting on the sleeve. I know it's like really hard to tell where I'm at as far as like the garment. Okay, let me know if this gives you like Prince Bel Air vibes, because it does for me. <laughs> okay, that's good. Alright, one sleeve down as far as pinning. And then I'll sew it on. Yo, okay, I haven't been reading the chat. So I built my own custom sewing and pressing table. That's crazy. Uh, good to see you on YouTube. What's up, Chris? Uh, your setup is cool. I've been wanting to make a sewing YouTube or sewing YouTube videos for years, but my sewing era looks so crazy. You know, the crazier it is, the better it is. I feel like if your setup looks super crazy, people are gonna like, that's like the best, in my opinion, because people are gonna see that like, dang, this person's dedicated. My little sewing setup is like, tiny. Like, this is my computer desk, basically. And I'm sewing on the computer desk. Not the most economical, not econ economical, the most ergonomical, is that the right word? Ergonomic. Ergonomic. <laughs> I'm saying that. I'm butchering it on purpose. <laughs> Alright, let's get the other sleeve. Let's see. 
I'll probably post a picture on, of what I made on stream on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check that out later. Okay. Sleeve. Sleeve. Put it into half. Line it up with the seam of the shoulder. And we want to open that up like that. Bada boop. Now we're going to put a pin here. Actually, this needs to go a little bit to the right. I'll just put that there. Boom. I just want to know if this 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 hour and day is good for you guys because I'm going to be pretty. I'm going to. I'm honestly going to be really consistent with my streaming now because I have like a little setup here. I'll 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 actually stream on like a. I'll like put stuff away. I'll put away the screen that's in front of me. So it's not like all in the way. I'll have, I'll have a little like separate table for all this somehow. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Take the words around. The pattern on that shirt is classic. Yeah, it's, it's pretty like, I don't know. I've been into really like out there patterns. I don't know. I don't know if it's the word, right words. I got this at uh, my swap meet near my near my parents' house or near my parents' place. Um, it's a dollar a yard, which is insane. But I should have stocked up on fabric because now I can't even go go out to get fabric, and it's kind of scary because like I wanted to like get back into sewing, and, like make stuff, but now I can't even buy fabric. Uh, I might have to go on like Amazon or something or Etsy. Surprisingly, Etsy has like good fabric, but it's kind of expensive. So I don't know. It's kind of, I'll, I'll think about it. Hopefully this whole pan pan pandemic, pandemic. I'm looking over, if you see me look over to the left, it's because I'm, I'm looking at my fiance for approval as far as like pronouncing things. Because low key, when I go stream or make YouTube videos, I get like nervous. I know maybe it might not seem like that, but I get nervous when I stream these things because I don't want to like say something wrong. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's like pretty general. Okay, that's, that's good. All right, I got to make sure that this opens up too. Let me do this again. Okay. Yeah, feel free to chat with each other too. I mean, we're all in the same like category as far as like what we are interested in. Back over. All right. Um, regarding the sleeve, if you if if the method works for you, that's the method you should use. That's so crazy. You know what? What blows my mind about sewing is that there's no right way to doing it. You you really could do it your what your own way. And when people try to get political with me as far as like what's correct, I I always want to hit them with the uh, you know, that's your way and this is my way. But I don't like I don't like correcting people cuz people don't want to be corrected. Okay, I'm taking out this music cuz it's actually distracting me. Cuz I'm like listening listening to music and like forgetting that I'm streaming. So, I'm that way. What am I working on right now? I'm working on a long sleeve. Uh, it's like a turtleneck long sleeve with this this uh fabric sewing machine a little bit uh long turtlenecks long sleeve in this weird not weird but like interesting pattern i'm gonna post a picture of it later on mood you can buy a swatch for a dollar fifty for the fabric you want oh man i i used to buy all my stuff off mood but like like, not even gonna lie, mood is kind of expensive compared to like how much I actually spent on fabric. Because I'm near LA District, and LA District actually has some like cheap deals. I'm not gonna drive to LA, obviously, but my supplier comes from LA, and like maybe I'll just I'll just hit up the supplier directly, and then like maybe I can get I can get cut some deals, you know? Because a dollar a yard, you really can't beat that. Honestly, 
I might do like, I have so much fabric scraps. I don't know. I might just make a t-shirt out of the fabric scraps. I need to do a video about it. I think, I think, um, what I'm going to do now, because it's easier for me, if I'm going to be making something from scratch, I'll probably just do a whole live stream. I'm not going to do a tutorial. Oh, maybe I'll do a tutorial. Maybe I'll do like the live stream and then like edit it down for viewing purposes. Wait, am I on to? Yep. Let me know if the sewing machine like sound is too crazy. Just finished a new piece. Oh, hi to the girlfriend. Hi, Shirley. She's like over there. I don't know if she, you heard her. She said hi. Uh, just finished a new piece, a cropped long sleeve with one extended sleeve shaped like a space shuttle. Whoa, that's crazy. You gotta, you gotta tag me on that. That's pretty insane. Uh, I need a new sewing machine. Tell me about it, dude. Like, I need, this sewing machine is like 2000. The sewing machine is from 2016, and it's still running. It's, it runs. It runs good. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like I need. I need that new machine. I was. I was thinking about doing embroidery. Like I wanted to get into bro embroidery, like embroidery machines. But I don't know about that. Does that? Does anyone have info on embroidery machines? Because I don't know. I, I. I really like getting blanks now. Like blank t-shirts and just putting stupid little uh, designs on them. I don't know. Alright. So it actually takes me about an hour and a half to, to, what's it called, to finish a shirt. If I'm live streaming, of course, it's going to take longer because I'm, I'm doing like, I'm like multitasking. <laughs> What's up, Izzy? You know what? I've been gone, but I'm back. It, it, I don't know if I, I've said this on the stream already, or I'm gonna just repeat myself. Literally, I had a conversation with my mom because I, you know, you gotta like get in touch with your loved ones, and also my fiance has been like, "Hey, when are you gonna do these videos? Um, and when are you gonna get back to YouTube?" But I literally took my mom to tell me like, "Hey, when are you gonna do your next like YouTube video?" And that really like came and hit me kind of kind of hard that you know one number one my fiance and then my mom is coming at me like yo where's the youtube videos even my dad's like where's the youtube videos and genuinely i felt like this is the time i need to come back and i'm not i'm i feel like when i was uh, looking at youtube before it was all about the way that i looked at it, it was like a competition and i feel like that was draining me to the like it was eating me up to the core and I feel like that was so bad for my mental state and like physically it was doing it was just doing crazy things to me so now I'm really just gonna do it for the passion of you know sewing I think that was the initial if you watch like my first couple of videos I literally made YouTube videos because I was like I was so hyped about sewing and I want to get back to that I want to get back to you know this love sitting down to just sew all day I, i'm like guys i'm not gonna lie like right now i feel so like happy because i'm sitting down and doing this like i don't have any any pressure i don't have any anything in my mind is like stop me from what i'm doing like it's it's great it's great i don't know little rant little rant little rant um what's up okay What's up, Joyce? What's up? I'm in third year of fashion school. I've been sewing for years. I used to be insecure about sewing because I didn't have formal training. 
Now she just pulled me aside. Yo, it's all about like the confidence, I'm telling you. Like anything in life, I'm, I'm telling you right now, anything in life, whatever you want to do, it's all about confidence. You you can literally not know what you're doing. But if you can, if you can, if you can, I don't know, how, how, do, how do I put this? If you can show that you're confident in your ability to do what you want to do, people are going to see that. And that's why I feel like that was like, that was my secret formula. A lot of things I didn't know how to do. A lot of things I was like, how, what? I didn't even research it. I just went and did it and until I got it right. I think that's what's so like, something I learned about myself. I don't know if you even oil these machines. I think it would be like a good idea. Moral of the story, do what works for you. Right, right, right. You know what? That's the truth. I can't, you can't go any other way. I think, I think that people are so fixed on, there's a specific way of doing something and that's not true. There's always a different way to do the same thing. I think the way that I make t-shirts, a lot of people don't agree with, but it's not gonna stop me from making my t-shirt the way that I make it, <laughs> honestly. I miss my straight stitch machine. I really do miss that machine. I sold it because I didn't have any room for it and then I was moving and it's gone. It was a, it was such a good machine. It was an industrial machine too. If you, if you look at the videos back from 2016, that's when I had it. But that was when I was big into like sewing, sewing custom hats and stuff. All right, sleeve one done. All right, let's do the other sleeve. Bomber jacket tutorial was the reason I found you. Thank you so much. That's crazy. It's it's so crazy that I made that video in two thousand what two thousand fifteen or something like that. I don't know. That's and like people are still watching it. That's insane to me. Ah, I did I did I did dedicate that that video to my grandma. Uh, I think at the time, so it's so blurry when you think years back, but during that time she passed away and. She was like one of the main reasons why like I I got into sewing, like sewing, like in general. Like it was my mom too. She was like a big factor. But my grandma, she was a seamstress when she was back in the Philippines, and I think even here, and in, in when she like immigrated over, she was a seamstress. I'm not sure, but she used to make me and my sister like clothing. And it'll be always oversized. <laughs> okay, it's stuck. It's stuck. I had to sew from the edge. I forgot. It's that's how that's how you know I haven't sewn for a while. Okay. The moment that you see that your machine is not pushing your fabric through, stop sewing immediately. That thing is stuck in your machine. I think that's like a great tip for anyone that's, that's trying to sew. Long time no see, Mr. Content. Presence and presence on here, man. You know what? I'm back. I'm about to I'm about to drop some knowledge. I don't know. I don't know what, on what, but I'll figure something out. jacket. <laughs> what 
What's up, Legit Tim? How you been? You just gotta keep it going. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I'm not gonna lie. I think like if I think about the way that my life was set up it was like set up for me to be very like kind of like a hermit I don't need like luxurious things although if I ever get a chance to get a Tesla or drive in one I do want to but other than that I really want to live very simple I want two golden retrievers, two children, and then I'm do I'm done. Maybe a house if I if that's even possible. But I mean, hey, I'm a I'm a simple man. <laughs> two two golden retrievers. That's crazy. Where do you get golden retrievers? I feel like golden retrievers just come out of nowhere. Okay, real talk, real question. What's your favorite dog? Why? And what's your least favorite dog? Number one, favorite dog, golden retriever. Dude, you look at a golden retriever and it's like, you just start smiling even though you don't like golden retrievers. Uh, least favorite dog. Um, I mean, that's kind of hard because dogs, uh, that's hard. I can't, I think, I think my least favorite dog, and I'm going to like try to back it up as much as I can. Um, least favorite dog, but I'm not saying that I hate these dogs, but I wouldn't prefer, I, I would prefer not to associate myself with having one is, um, probably, man, it's hard, man. I gotta think about it. I'm, I'm a so and think about it, but I really want, I really want you guys' opinions on legit, legit favorite dog, reason why, and on top of that, what's the dog that you dislike the most and that I can kind of. From, from what you guys say, I'm going to figure out what, what dog I don't like. Like, I'm, I'm going I'm to be really biased and say that I don't really have, like, a dog that I don't like. <laughs> Alright. You have a Shih Tzu Yorkie. She looks like an Ewok. Wait. Alright, alright. I'm like... I think I know what an Ewok is. But you gotta, you gotta walk me through this. Is Ewok from Star Wars? Or am I tripping? <laughs> I'm... Look. Yo, what is that? <laughs> what is that? That's an Ewok? Yeah. Why does that look like... Yo, that's scary, man. If I saw an Ewok, I would be scared. Like in person, like real life, real talk. Pomeranian. Pomeranian. There you go. Oh, my thread broke. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I was, I was so. On. When did it break? Oh. Yeah, I, I need to get a new machine, guys. We're going to start a GoFundMe, not for me, but for other people that need sewing machines. Pomeranian. Chihuahua. Uh, least favorite would be Chihuahua because of the crazy temperament. Okay, um, since we got a couple of people saying Chihuahua, I'm going to be honest. I was going to say Chihuahua, but I, I don't want to hate on people that have Chihuahuas because I know that some Chihuahuas are, like, really legit and they're not crazy. But I'm, I'm going to say Chihuahuas because all the experience I've had with Chihuahuas, not so good. But I don't know if someone with ch Chihuahua owners, come on. Yeah, convince me otherwise. Maybe next week I'll do hemming. I'll like, I'm gonna I'm act like I don't know how to sew and I'm gonna sew a new thing every week. Like next week I'll do, I'll hem my pants. Cause that's something I really need to do. I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna make a cooking channel. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I make some really bomb like salt and pepper chicken wings. Yeah, like, like seriously. I'm serious. Like dead serious. <laughs> Um, Chihuahua. I'm a cat person. Okay, cat people. I need to know what's the best cat breed. Cause uh, people always talk about like dog breeds, this, that, pros, con. I need to know what the pros and con is for cats. 
like legit, legit, like dead serious. And you, I, this is like a, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. A cute Ewok. Okay. Yo, the Ewoks, man. I saw, like, my fiance showed me a picture and I was like, yo. That's so scary. No, but I'm, I'm probably just being judged by Because I don't know. I don't know anything about Ewoks. Where is, where is, where is Ewoks from? Like, real talk. I, if anyone knows. Anyone else, please let me know. I'm like, I'm really curious now. Where are these Ewoks from? Dude, this is like, this is the best way to like defeat social distancing. Talking to you guys, like, this is great. I feel like it's, I feel like when I go on live stream, it's like I'm talking, like, we're all chatting, like, in person. I think the sleeve, like putting on a sleeve on a t-shirt is the least favorite thing that I like to do. It's the least favorite, like I can't, I can't stress that enough. Okay, that's good. That's kind of coming off, let's see. I'll post on my Instagram tonight. <laughs> Yo, tonight's is crazy right now. Uh, black cats I've seen on TikTok are always are all pretty chill. I think they're Russian blues. I don't know. Hey, I mean, I don't know anything about cats. You know anything about cats? Yeah, I don't know. I, I just like I, I like the cats that like kind of come up to you and they'll like rub their head on your leg. I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're trying to like fight me or whatever, but I like when they do that. Like, it's cool. I've, I've seen, like, I've seen, like, the goods and bads, or the good and bad videos of cats, where it's, like, the cats, like, really, really, like, passive-aggressive, and then the ones where, that are, like, they'll sleep with you, and they'll follow you wherever you go, kind of like a dog. like if you guys I, I'm just gonna upload this stream onto my YouTube um, right now content's pretty low so I gotta I gotta put something on YouTube so I'll probably put this live stream on on YouTube so if you guys really want to watch like <laughs> me so kind of like an ASMR type situation um, this will probably be on YouTube probably not the right word it will be <laughs> what the heck Oh, okay. I was like, why? Whoa, why is it so wide? Huh? Where am I at? Oh, this is. <laughs> ah, that's why. I was like, dude, this looks. Why did, how did I make this pattern? And why does it look so bad? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna, like. I don't like doing this, but. I'm just gonna eyeball. I think that's an. I think it's happening. <laughs> we'll see. That looks like half an inch. Guys, my measurements are pretty bad. So if you ever get a t-shirt for me, personally made, just know that I made it with love and not accuracy. <laughs> not gonna lie, um, I'm really scared to make clothes for people because then I don't want them to judge me pretty hard. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I, I am pretty pretty scared when people try to ask me, hey, could you make this make this for me? And it's like a really complicated project, and I only have like maybe two hours of my day, and they think that it's only going to take two hours of my day, but in reality, it takes like maybe like ten hours because <laughs> I keep messing around, and I'm like live streaming and stuff. Pretty on par. Oh. The 
LeBron method. Good times. Hope you're doing well, but I'm doing good. How you doing? I feel like I feel like it's like a family reunion right now because there's some people that I've 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 like it's crazy that you guys are still here. That's that's just me. Like I I'm blown away. I'm legit smiling for the the reason that you guys are still coming back, even though like I. <laughs> I mean, kind of like that deadbeat cousin that doesn't go to the family, like, family functions. But I'm here. I'm, I'm, a, I'm coming back to make it right. <laughs> I'm not going to be a deadbeat, a deadbeat cousin or a deadbeat YouTuber. <laughs> Does people still say that? I, I, don't, I don't watch YouTube enough. Like, the culture has changed. I know the culture is, like, different. All right, I don't know which side is what. Okay, so this is the wrong side of the street. Now, people are probably gonna ask me, why aren't you using an iron? <laughs> uh, good question. <laughs> good question. That looks like half an inch. And that looks like half an inch. Whoa. Uh, detective? How do you say your name? Detective? Could you like pronounce that? <laughs> What's up? Alright. A little ASMR action right now because I'm like trying to figure this out. Make this nice and even. So, how do you know if your folds are like good or not? As if your pattern matches up. If your pattern doesn't match up, you overfold. You over, you didn't fold right. That's what I've learned over the time I've been doing this. Let's see here. I'm gonna make this long sleeve before I end the stream. Like I'm not gonna, I'm legit not gonna do anything else to let this this um, lock thing is done. <laughs> I'm I'm being dead serious. Okay. I definitely feel the same way because there's too much explanation from them not knowing a song really beat. I'm serious. Like, there's. Sewing is like a weird craft. Sewing is like the dictionary. You think you know how to define a word, and then you go into the dictionary and it's defined a certain way. Sometimes you don't even go into the dictionary and you kind of learn from like context. And you kind of like still use it, even though it's probably wrong. That's that's exactly how sewing is. There's a correct way of doing sewing, <laughs> and there's a very like passive aggressive way of doing sewing, where you're like, hmm, this looks right, and you do it, and it, it turns out right, but it's not politically right. It's it's wrong. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's I'm just speaking on my butt now. <laughs> Uh, I was literally on your channel the other day to see it posted anything. Just was wondering what you were up to and if you were okay. And boom, you're here today. You know what? You probably the probably the uh, CAD fam. That's what we, I called you guys. The CAD fam senses were tingling, and I was like, you know what? Live stream. <laughs> no need for stinking iron. Let's. You know what? Yes. No need. Oh wait, I don't even need to do a. I just need to do a regular stitch. And it's probably stuck in my machine. Let's see. Might have stretched it out of there. It's okay. Because it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, when I, when I, um, set up these live streams, I'll probably, if, if for some reason I'm not able to live stream on that specific day, uh, I'll probably post about it on Instagram because that's something that usually happens when I do these live streams. Things kind of happen and I can't live stream. Let's just say, like, the internet's out. I ride out of the internet. I don't know. <laughs> My computer breaks. I don't know. 
I'll, I'll update you guys on my Instagram. I think that's like the easiest way. How do you guys? How do you guys feel about TikTok? I I, I want you guys' like honest opinion about TikTok. For me, like TikTok's interesting because there's some really like weird stuff on there, and don't get me wrong, that's just part of the the culture, and it's it's okay. But there's some like really like weird and trendy stuff, which is okay too. But it's kind of like a whirlwind of like what's on there. All right, if this sleeve is shorter than the other, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I make my like sleeves like so long, just in case one's it's, like shorter than the other, so it's not noticeable. It's only like it's like very slight that you can notice it. Did that work? I don't know what I just said. <laughs> Uh, ironing is key, but sometimes you're so into the project you get busted with the pins. You know what? I'm so busted. Like, I barely use an iron. Like, I have an iron, but I barely use it. It's kind of bad, to be honest. Like, I'm just gonna be serious. I have no idea how to pronounce it. But it's from it's from a manga called Pluto. Interesting. You know what? Like I've never really gone to mangas. I knew one person that was like really, 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 really into it. And I would just ask him what's a good manga to read. Is that how you say is that how you like interact with mangas? You read it? I don't know. <laughs> Cause I usually just look at the pictures. Or at least the ones that I uh, that I have, I literally just look at the pictures. That's why I watch anime. <laughs> All right, that one's down. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is co close up. Oh, actually, let's 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 get weird, guys. Let's let's put on the collar now. Cause I, I do this weird thing where I have a specific way of putting on each body part. And uh, so today we're gonna get weird and do the collar next. How do I do this? Okay, here's the collar. Um, so right now it's inside out. So you can't have it inside out. So let's make it right side up. All right. So here's a collar. I, I, I'm abusing this, this smaller camera. So here's the collar. I'm gonna go, or here's the neckline. And let's put the collar on. How do I do this? <laughs> How do I put it on the collar? Oh my god, it's been so long. All right, all right. So I put it with the raw end, matching the raw end. Right now, you're you're getting. I'm getting. I'm exposing myself because I don't remember how to do. I'm probably gonna watch my old YouTube video to put on a collar. Because it's been a minute. All right, so fold that up. Let's fold that up. Let's match the side of the collar. Usually, I put this part of the collar in the back of the neckline, but oh, for the sake of this live stream. I will do it on the side. Why not? And then I gotta get my work my way around. This is always confusing. I feel like this is an optical illusion. Like when you try to wrap the neck the collar around the neckline, it's like it's like you tangled yourself somehow. It's like you're following the neckline. It's hard to explain. You you sewers out there, you know what I'm talking about. If you do it my way. If you don't do it my way, then you don't know what I'm talking about. Hey bro, what's up Christopher? Um, where I've been? That's uh, classified. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I've been, I've been taking care of myself. I think it's uh, a lot of self-help. Not in a bad way, I wasn't like, nothing was going like crazy, but I feel like I needed to take a break. A lot of it was getting to me as far as like the YouTube space. I feel like I was in competition with myself. It's one of those like, I'm, I'm trying to better myself type situations. <laughs> But I'm back. I'm chilling. How you been? 
I learned how to sew from you and others on YouTube, but I'm still not great at it. Um, I deeply apologize. I'm not the best teacher, <laughs> but I, uh, I am learning from my mistakes. And I hope that what I'm going to do eventually is revisit some of my old videos and redo the videos. So if you see a new, like, if you see a video from the past that I'm redoing, it's because I, I learned so much from that point and I want to, like, make it better and easier so people can, like, actually make the thing. Because it's not, not going to lie, a lot, of, a lot of things that I've done in the past is very, like, complex and it's really hard to explain. Because if you're, I'm, I'm more of, like, a, I don't know, I don't know if I'm a, a visual learner or a verbal I don't know but I learned some things with certain senses and like when I'm trying to regurgitate something that I've just learned it's so difficult to do I like me time I feel like that was the biggest thing when I was making these tutorials was like I I was like competing with myself to upload a video every week it was like the whole week with me doing YouTube and it was draining because I would never leave the house when I was doing it. It's insane. It's insane, man. Where am I at? All right. We got the collar on too. Pretty cool. Sorry. That was like some really confusing from your guys' point of view. But. to go around there you go all right see it's a magic trick i'm telling you all right there's a collar this is like this is like baking i don't understand how to do baking and it's only if you try that you'll learn everything i feel you can like you can follow so much cooking books but unless you like actually do it yourself that's when you know how to, that's when you start to learn. Or I guess that, that's for some people. Let's see, put that there. And then we're gonna sew on the collar. My collar. Say my collar, say my collar five times fast, you'll send, you'll end up saying my collar. <laughs> TikTok goes too fast for me. Yes, I no. It's not even about like. There's some like there's some people like of all ages on TikTok, and it's like it's so crazy. Um, it's like eating pizza too fast. What? Oh, I see. Okay, I was I. Mm, okay, free health above everything. I agree, dude. Like mental health. Yeah. <laughs> hey Ken, uh, thanks for all you do, helping us learn to be independent and making our own clothes. Um, it helped me a lot. Thank you for your videos. I, I try, okay? You're very welcome. I gotta stop saying that I'm not that good because honestly, I haven't got this far without trying and I have to be good at at least something, right? <laughs> uh, Chrisel, Chriselda? Hi. Um, you inspired me to make men's clothing. I made my brother a long, a long line tank top. Wow. That's, a, that's like, I remember when I used to make those. Um, you're very welcome. It's been it's so good to see you on YouTube again. Been waiting for a new video, yo. Okay, so people always like once in a while. I always get like a DM on Instagram, and I've checked my Instagram recently now. So if you guys are really like really need to like hit me up, like really hit me up on Instagram, my DMs are not like extremely intense where I won't see your message. So. If you want to really, if you need help, like as far as like sewing, I'll try my best to like jump on there. Um, I'm on the same way. It's weird how I look at clothes. I can't see how it goes together, but like I can't explain it to others. Yeah, it's it's weird because I'll try to explain it to like anyone. They're like, because when I go to work, people always ask me, "How do you know how to sew? Like, where do you learn that?" And I tell them, oh, I just look at clothes and I just put the pieces together. It's like a puzzle, basically. 
Oh wait, I gotta switch to. Oh, what is all that fuzz above? Oh shoot, I didn't even realize that. I really do need a new sewing machine. Maybe I'll get this maintained. Uh, I'll send this to a maintenance guy. But I don't even know the maintenance guy is even open. Or girl. Maintenance guy or girl. Can't assume genders. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, I love this. What's up, Nikki? Um, started sewing. As well as I quit my job to start my fashion line. That's crazy. Well, good luck. Good luck to your fashion line. I hope you the best. Um, good luck. <laughs> I've always wanted to start my own fashion line too. I wanted, I wanted to do, okay, like real talk. I, I, at one point I wanted to do, I wanted to do fashion for, men, of course, men's fashion, but then I wanted to get into unisex. And now like I'm getting older and I'm, it's crazy. It's crazy because like I started this YouTube channel when I was 20 or 19. I think I was 19 when I started this YouTube channel. I'm, I'm like eventually going to become a dad. That's, oh my God, it's crazy, man. I'm going to be a dad one day. And then, no, okay. The reason why I brought that up is because I want to make kids, <laughs> kids clothing. That's, that's like, I don't know how profitable that would be or how like how uh, popular that would be but I think like if I had like my first kid and I'm still doing YouTube somehow um, like in between me taking care of the of the baby I would like make the baby some sort of clothes I don't know and I'll do videos on it that'd be sick like that's crazy I started YouTube back in 2012 or something crazy like that. Maybe even before that. I don't even remember when I uploaded my first video. It's it's so crazy looking back at like how how different I looked, how how much I've changed as a person. I feel like before I was just like a, a snobby teenager or snobby college student, and I was just like, I'm gonna do YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's kind of like I'm grown and like I have my own life it's, it's crazy I don't know it's weird it's crazy because I have people that have been following me since the beginning and like they're still here and they've they always tell me you know I want I watched you when I was like 14 now I'm 23 <laughs> it's scary it's scary to like for me that's scary I don't know why it's it's crazy all right and I'm, I'm sorry for like the like the low the low quality stream like setup like i really am gonna try to up it up up and up it next week when i do the live stream on sunday i'll probably do it more towards like i would say let's see I don't, I don't like doing our streams at night because I know a lot of people are from like different time zones. So I'll probably try to do the live streams around two, two. <laughs> I don't want to say a number because then I got to stay committed. I got to, let me, let me think about it. Let me think about it. <laughs> Commitment is hard with someone that's trying to come back with, back to YouTube because it's like, you're like, ah, oh, guys, I'm back. And then, like, you just don't post ever again. The great thing about live streaming is that, like, the video is, like, there. I don't need to do editing. And I just, it just goes on to YouTube. <laughs> um, keep mastering your passion. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, oops. I can see how it goes together. Oh, okay. Here's okay. <laughs> you should, you should. I would love to collab. I'm doing more videos, hopefully. Um, congrats. <laughs> How old am I? Yo, that's that's a good question. I don't even know. Sometimes people ask me like how old I am, and 
it blows my mind that I don't know. Like, I know my year. I know, I, I can do the math, but like, I don't want to believe how old I am. That's, that's how scary it is. To me, it's scary to think that I am the age that I am. People think it's so crazy when, when people ask my age. And that, well, first, I always ask people, what age do you think I am, right? And then when they say I'm like a lot older, I get so sad. I'm like, dude, it's, it's insane. Okay, how far do I have to go? How long is, how big is this neckline? <laughs> Holy moly, I've been, I feel like I've been sewing around this neckline for a while. Yeah, okay, let's, let's, let's fix this part. I want this to be as flat as possible. Okay, maybe I should have put that back. Hold on. Okay, um, how long have I been live streaming? I've been live streaming for a minute, though. <laughs> Um, it's called Dimension Five. Live your dreams. Oh, that's your, that's your brand, dude. That's pretty sick. I like that Dimension Five. Like you just roll up to the to the fashion, um, the runway, and you'd be like, "Yo!" And now presenting Dimension Five. <laughs> uh, I think we need better kids' clothing. Honestly, I think that would be sick. I just had my first daughter last year, and I want her to dress like me. But they just have the generic baby clothes. See, this is why it's perfect that you learn how to sew. Because now you can make clothing however you want it. Now how they want it is how you want it. <laughs> All right. Chosen clothing would be so dope. This grows so fast. That's the, that's the greatest thing. That's, okay, I'm going to... Don't, I don't know how. I'm going to explain this to you right now. I want to make these clothing... It's kind of like, I want to, I want to say it's like maturity clothes for kids, but I want it to like, so they can wear it at any age or a certain age group can wear it up to a certain like month. So if they're like a, what, what, how do people say it? Like three months, three months. And then it goes up to like 18 months. I don't know how all the, all the, all the boys are about to be wearing dresses for real. <laughs> this because so that's good okay 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 let's go dude I don't even know what it's gonna be like to live stream in the summer man <laughs> do a top stitch this is oh this is something i need to teach everyone how to do it's a top stitch top stitch on the collar this is this is something new that i do i don't think i don't know how much people actually do this but i do it because it i don't know if it actually helps the the garment if i top stitch it but i do it <laughs> Top stitch. Okay. All right. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, let me show you. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Ooh. Okay. Okay. It's kind of messy, but hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, it's on. I don't know if you guys can even see that. The window's so small. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to start closing up this long sleeve. All right. 
where is the bottom? There it is. While I'm pinning this together, let me see what you guys are talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this, uh, these baby, clo baby clothes look poppin', let me tell ya. Maybe, yeah, you know what, I want, if I have a daughter, yo, know, her, her, her clothing about to be poppin'. Cause I don't know how to make women's clothing, so, <laughs> I don't gotta figure it out. But, um, if I, if I have a boy, yo, you already know. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't follow the trends as much as I used to because I've been kind of out of it because I've been working on other stuff. But yo, I'm about to, I don't know what I'm about to make, but I just know it's gonna look good. And I'll do, I'm gonna do YouTube videos for it. I'll be like, hey, what's up, guys? My boy, da 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 da, needs a new blah blah blah. And then, and then I'll just, I'll just do a tutorial on that. I'll make it very casual, nothing too crazy. Something you could you and you and you and your mom and your grandma you can sit with your dog at your feet because I know some dogs be like stalking people on, around their house. Yo, I can't wait to do YouTube videos again. I'm really I'm so weird, but I love doing YouTube videos. Uh, let's see. Hey, new trend for work at home. They're wearing costumes. Got some easy ideas. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? What? The... At home? I'm so confused. Bro, I started making clothing because of you. I started with oversight. Yo, it's it's crazy how it's gone full circle. Um, thanks for thanks for coming, man. Appreciate it. Hope the video has helped out some way, shape, or form. You know, that's that was the whole that was the whole purpose of the YouTube channel was to help people. It was to help people and also show people that you can be anyone, like you don't have no experience with sewing and you can do it. And I think that people realize that after a while, like I was just making some random stuff, but I was still doing, I was still going, I was still going at it. <laughs> Hello, I'm trying to make a 1887 men's shirt on a Singer VS. Two from 1886. Whoa, what does that look like? Like, what is, <laughs> what is, what is that? I, I need to look that up now. I gotta go back. I gotta like save these comments. The great thing about these live streams is you guys bring up some like stuff I've never heard of, and I look it up on my like spare time. Masks are great selling. Greatly are great selling, but I think it would be. Great of the sewing community, if we can figure out a way to make them more like the N95. And that's like, that's like medical grade, right? The N, N95. Oh, I, I see that like name tossed around and I have no idea what it is. I know it's a mask, but like, I don't know why it's called N95. Oh, that's a Singer VS2? I've seen that. <laughs> I didn't know what it was called. I always wanted one. Like, I'll go on eBay for the Singer VS2. I'm like, dude, this would be so sick to have. But I never went around and bought it. I don't know why. They're so sick, though. That's pretty sick that you have one. Probably gonna get myself one. Get rid of this one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, since there's a shortage of facial masks, have you thought of making them, selling them during the pandemic? I wouldn't sell them. I would probably make a video a tutorial on how to make them and then have, I'll probably make some myself and it's donated. I think, right? I know that people like they should be making, or you know, people have their own conditions right now. Like you want to make the mask because you want to help out your family. Totally understandable. You want to help out your own household. Totally understandable. But if you're making it for like the wrong reasons, I feel like, that's just taking advantage of the situation, which I understand people need to capitalize on that. That's business. But for me personally, if I were going to make the masks or make masks or make a tutorial or make a template for people to use, I'm going to make it free. Because it doesn't, 
for me, that's that's the, that's the one thing that I liked about YouTube or the way that I handled my YouTube. It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about like I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't about being the biggest and most extravagant person. It was about doing what I really like to do. And times like this, I really do want to help people. I think it took growth from, you know, all the various jobs I've had outside of YouTube and like people that I've come across and talked to and all the documentaries I've watched and binged and all that, like all come all that combined in my life. It kind of, it kind of shows that like, I really want to be a philanthropist if I ever had the money. So if I ever like popped off on YouTube, I feel like a lot, I would live simple and this is just me now. I'm probably going to, I can't speak for myself in the future, but I'm speaking on behalf of myself now. I really do want to like, just really live humbly in like a very like sec secluded area and just donate to charities. Like that's, that would, that would be me if I was like donate to charities and then donate to people that watch me. That would be like my big thing. And that's what I would love to do if I had the money. But I'll be honest, I uh, I never really popped off on YouTube, so I don't make the the big boys money. <laughs> but I, I'm 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 chilling, I'm chilling here. <laughs> uh, the CDC has a list of online making online for making masks. They have suggestions there. I didn't know that. Um, just make the same clothes as you would for a boy if it's a girl. Kids are all the same shape. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, I saw on Dr. Mike's YouTube channel that all that twenty percent of the bacteria is blocked by the fabric masks, and N95 have a ninety-five percent of bacterial block. Ninety-five percent of the bacteria is blocked. If we can get extra coverage, then that would be awesome. So I might have to look into like how what's what it what the N95 is made out of, like the material. What do you think of the half and half colored men's color trend? I've been feeling it. Yo, I've been, okay. What's so crazy? What's so crazy? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, guys, 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 guys. I've been doing, are you talking about this? Because I've been doing this. This is not, hold on, let me get, let me get the other one. <laughs> guys, I've been doing this. Like, it's like, this is something I made like a long time ago. I never showed down stream. But yeah, I've I've done the color block. It's I done it. I think I when did I do this? Like last year or something. Hey, you know what? Go for it. If you're if you're doing it, it's it's fun. It's fun to make. Like seriously, it's fun. Where am I? At? Okay, I'm right here. Okay. I was like, where the heck am I on my on my on my log save? I gotta read on. I gotta read up on this right now. So plus, because the medical field is running out of them. Yeah, I I just need to get the fabric and I can make them because I think most medical mask is sewn. Um, two layers of cotton have been sixty percent effective. Any helps? Yeah, we just need to figure out what that filter is. If anyone can like link me the filter, I definitely can. I can definitely do a video on it and like. Sh Spread awareness of where to get the filter. Who's my favorite designer? Ah, oh, dude, that's that's hard. That's hard, man. I, I can't I can't pinpoint a designer. I feel like you, as a designer, it depends on the person. For me, I don't really look into designers that much. I don't like the word. Like before, I used to like love the word designer, but. Now that I'm kind of grown a little, grown up a little bit, I haven't been really into like the whole designer and like streetwear top level designer stuff. I just really have been into like stuff that I genuinely like care about. It will, it, it comes with time. It comes with patience. It comes with you know knowledge of what what you've seen, what has come, what has gone. It really depends. <laughs> Oh wait, I'm not even sewing in the right, whoa, the right mode. 
That's not good. I think like now I, I just make clothing for other people. I don't even make it for myself. I feel like that's what I'm gonna do in the future. I'm just gonna donate my clothes. And I'll just wear stinky Hanes t-shirts. <laughs> I don't even know if this, this fabric's pretty shrunk, so RIP. Yeah, uh, I know we, I watched this fabric already. Um, I like the dark green and black shirt. Color blocking is coming back. Yeah, color block, okay, guys, OG, OG listeners, OG like everything. You know I've been doing color blocking for a long time. It's just like, they've been picking up on it recently. is coming back colored denim whoa the colored denim denim is best when color blocking for sure if you guys can send me like pictures of this again i'm not like following fashion right now because like i i'm so busy <laughs> runway shows and make your own version of make your own versions for yourself to wear I don't watch runway but I'll probably make those videos I just want to see if I can make it like that's 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 the challenge I think that I I haven't really challenged myself to the extent that I want to I know that earlier I said that like I wasn't happy like kind of forcing myself to do things but I think that now I have a different mentality about how I go about doing everything that I'm doing. So I'll definitely want to do challenges on runway stuff. That'd be cool. Whoa. What happened? Whoa. Is that, did everyone hear that? <laughs> People like, come out of here. The thread broke. So I gotta redo this real quick. I'm customizing sneakers. AF ones. I felt the urge to really just cut deconstruct the whole sneaker. You can. I feel like deconstruction right now is like. I think a lot of people do that now. And I see that people are going to the extent of like switching out the fabrics and whatnot. And I think that's pretty cool. But I feel like. I don't know how, how that like. If, how. What the legality of that is. I wonder if there's any legality to customizing stuff like that. I hope there's not like big dogs coming out there for these like people that are customizing sneakers. I've always wondered that. It's like freaky. Go through the needle. Uh, this is so difficult. Oh shoot, okay. Let's try again. Yeah, sewing's good. But the great thing about sewing, like, you may not have the dex, like, you, you just, you kind of always have it. You don't lose your sewing skills. I think you just always have it. It's just you need to do those like warm ups. Like you just make a t shirt. I think making a t shirt, if you haven't sewn for a while, making a t shirt is the best way to get back into it. Because then it's t shirts kind of go through like all the different types of stitches and whatnot and get yourself familiar with seam allowances. 
sometimes I don't. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Sometimes <laughs> when people like throw sewing terms at me, I wouldn't even know what they're talking about. some like lo-fi hip-hop playing <laughs> oh shoot my needle my needle uh i i definitely don't want to drop a needle on the ground because i have my step on that later okay some real talk i'm gonna knock on wood first has anyone ever like stepped on a needle i know it's like the worst i gotta get i gotta get this finish up this long sleeve and then I'm gonna knock it out. Shoot, I didn't put that thing up around here. Uh, let's go this way. I think I just have to like power through this last part of the long sleeve and then call it quits for today. Internet trying to be crazy right now. I get this internet situation situated. Oh no, it's stuck. Surely everyone's coming back. What's up guys? Whoever's watching. Uh, finishing up my live stream right now. Yeah, my technical difficulties is like pretty bad. Like it's so crazy because this always happens to me. Like I always I always end up having everywhere that I go, every time that I live stream it, it always messes up. It's crazy. I'll just like finish the long sleeve and then call it call it quits basically, because uh... <laughs> dang. I gotta I don't know how how I'm gonna fix this, but I gotta fix this because I was live streaming for like a good hour and then like busted. <laughs> Oh, 
also have my sewing machine from my computer monitor. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have my uh, my fiance model it because this this long sleeve is actually meant for her, not not for me. Although it's like a unisex, so if I really wanted to, I could wear it, but your boy guy kind of got thick, so <laughs> a lot of this stuff doesn't fit well. Like, I'm like speed racing right now because I really need it. I, need, I gotta like end the stream and also finish this long sleeve. Like it's like two and one right now. Sorry, the oh the COVID mask. I'll probably do a video on that. I, if I can't, I've, I got I got to fix my internet. But like, if I can't live stream next next week, I'll probably just do a video. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Gotta hem the bottom of the long sleeve. And we Gucci. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know why this is such a pain to me. Like it's okay, so the way that I do this part, it's always like I always hate this part. I always hem hemming t-shirts is the worst, I'm telling you. It's the worst thing has come out of sewing since sewing started. <laughs> I remember there was a time that I kept this thing, like I kept the the bottom of the t-shirt unhemmed and I was I was so happy during that time. <laughs> but now I have it because you know you never want you don't want your your garments to fall apart. <laughs> Everyone's getting a little thick in the quarantine. Yo I am I'm I'm like the biggest contributor to the, the get thick movement like it's because i've been like if you watch any of my older videos you just know like i'm a, i was like really really skinny but then like i put on some lbs because i didn't want to look like a little like tiny person anymore so yeah i'm thick boy cad thick cad <laughs> That's too much. Okay. Put that there. Let's put this down. Let's pin that down. Boom. Bada bop. Okay. Keep that there. Go to the other side. All right. All right. Maybe I'll do an IG live. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, every time that I do a live stream, like, this stuff messes up easily. But when I do like IG lives, that never like poops on me. I gotta figure out how to do this live stream thing like perfectly. The settings are probably like messed up somewhere. Maybe my computer's just bad, I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I have time. Uh, that's my assignment for next next um, live stream, figure this out. The great thing about hemming is that like as long as you guide the hem through the machine, 
It's gonna even itself out, so you're not gonna end up with a part part of your uh, long or part of your hem that's like super small. You just gotta be very. You gotta just feed it into the machine a certain way, and you'll be good. How do you? Okay, let's. Let, I'm, I'm at your back. Did you see the link I put for the CDC paper on masks? I did not. I don't think YouTube allows um, links. So if you can actually send it either through Instagram, if you don't have Instagram, I think YouTube has messages somehow. Or I don't, I don't know how you'll actually get to me, to be honest. How do you roll the hem so evenly? So you always, so on the side of the t shirt, there's your hem from, or your seam allowance from the side seam. If you roll that first and roll the other side, it's gonna it's gonna even itself out, which is kind of great. It's a little trick I've learned. Not trick, probably. Okay. So at this point, after you do the the corner, you want to hold it right here. That's kind of a bad explanation, but if you actually hold it here, the fabric will form, will fold for you basically. And if you pull it, it actually makes it better. My hands are not perfect either, so I'm not gonna like front like they are. How do you how do you perfectly stitch a straight line? Um, it's more like you use kind of like the indicators on your machine. There's like a couple here. You want to use that as your edge. If you don't have that, it's just kind of practice, honestly. Keep in mind, I've been sewing for like seven years. So, so that kind of helps. That's like a big factor, I feel. Okay, so at this point, like halfway done. Guys, I'm scared of this pattern because I don't remember if I even tested it, so it might look wonky. I'm officially done with this long thing. Holy moly. Oh. A little back stick stitch action. And I'm done. <laughs> oh shoot. How do you roll it so evenly? It's it's like a there's like a certain technique. You have to pull it and hold it here so it, it this part will automatically roll. Um, I'm so bad at hemming that I need to mark a line to roll and pin the fabric. I can't do it with my eye alone. Yeah, I mean, it's all practice. At the end of the day, it's all practice. I can't, I can't explain it because the way that I've learned how to hem, and notice I only use four pins total. I remember I used to pin this whole thing, and it still turned out bad. It was, it was stupid. <laughs> Uh, but after time, so it's like you literally pull this down. See how it's like stretching a little bit? But don't pull it like insanely, but just a little bit. And then pull this down. It will roll the fabric perfectly for you. 
And that's how I do it. All right, our long sleeve is complete. We're gonna have our our model model it. Are you ready? Yeah, we're gonna have you try it on. <laughs> Cause I am too thick for this long sleeve now. Cause I made this almost like half a year ago. Or I guess I cut the fabric half a year ago. Alright. Okay. I'll have her put it on. I'm so exhausted from that alone. I don't know why. Uh, what was that knock on the wood? So what happened? Okay, I don't know if I actually caught this on stream. All my needles fell, and I think that's what screwed over. Like, I don't know what happened. But yeah, my needles fell, and it sucked. I ironed and pinned. I still got it up straight. Yo, I used to do all that, and it's, like, impossible. It's, it's still impossible for me to do. But I got a technique where you pull the end... And then the left side, and then it's 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 Gucci. Yeah. All right, you ready? You ready to? See, you guys ready to see a live? Or I don't know if I disconnected again. <laughs> this this is crazy, man. How can anyone have only one machine? I don't know. I have. Oh no, I'm not sponsored by Airhead. Ah, a four, four, five, two. I don't know. I actually have never seen that. To be honest, I have the four, four, two, three, which is the same line, heavy duty. It's been great so far. I've never seen that. Four, four, five. Can you guys still see me? I don't know if it's like lagging. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just looking at the screen like, am I still on? <laughs> Can someone confirm real quick? Yeah. All right. No one can confirm, so I'm just gonna go for it. I might just put an IG story if if the stream is not legit dying. It looks like it's dying. I wonder if it's. Okay, everyone says um, they can see me. Okay, alrighty. Um, yeah, you can uh, you can come out <laughs> and sit. Not sit. Just just stand, and uh, I'll make it big for the people on the screen, so people can see the the full long sleeve that I just created. It literally took me like an hour and a half to make, which is okay. I think, no, I think it was like two hours. I think I was doing it for like two hours. You ready? Mm -hmm. Count, go, go that way, <laughs> and I'll move out of the way. All right, all right, guys. So this is, the, you gotta tell me. <laughs> uh, this is the long sleeve. I'll make it bigger for you guys to see. All right, so I'm gonna get out of the screen so you guys can see. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, so if you can come this way. This way? Yeah. So this is a long sleeve. Um, what do you guys think? I just finished it right now. <laughs> oh, it's it's kind of big on YouTube. Maybe it's okay. it, I like it baggy though. Yeah. It's comfortable. Yeah. All right, guys. Let me know what the what you guys think about the long sleeve. It's all done. I am so exhausted. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying to live stream like every, I would say like every, every Sunday. So yeah, nice and baggy, unisex clothing. I really do want to, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to do it every Sunday. What do you think, it feels good? Yes, it's very, the material is lightweight, so it don't feel like too warm. Like this would be the perfect long sleeve for the summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that, babe. <laughs> uh, type of material, I believe it's just a rib knit. 
the yeah, that's all it is, the rib knit. But yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching the live stream. Uh, I'll probably have my fiance just model all the clothing because I'm too thick now. <laughs> uh, thick like Thanos. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to end the live stream right now. I don't know if I'm going to combine these videos and you guys can watch it on YouTube. And I'll probably cut out the parts where it cuts out. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll try to put out a schedule. I'll make a post of it on YouTube, of, of course. And then uh, we'll catch you in the next live stream. I'll be tackling on my fabric box or my fabric bag. Do you, do you know what my fabric bag is? It's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be tackling on my fabric bag. So it's pre-cut pieces that I've cut over the last four. Yep. So I got all this fabric in here that I'm going to be taking care of. This, this, this t-shirt I'm wearing actually, uh, I sewed this, I sewed it like last week or something. But yeah, I have so much fabric here that I need to make. I have this fabric. I can't, I, I want to do this one next. This one's my next one. Anyways, Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. It's been a blessing. Um, I'll, I'll catch you guys next Sunday. Or if not next Sunday, you'll catch me on YouTube on it with an actual YouTube video. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. I'll put this live stream on YouTube. I'm going to edit out some parts because I know it cuts out and whatnot. So I'll, I'll edit it and then put it on YouTube. And then you guys can watch it if you guys have not, if you didn't watch the full stream. But... Make sure to catch me next time, which is next Sunday. So have a good weekend, have a good week, and stay safe. Wash your hands, stay 17 feet away from people. I know it's wrong, but stay as far as away from people. Social distancing, it's okay. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm going to end the stream now.